Hello y'all. Welcome back to Ashley's Homestead Adventures. We are in it to win it already this morning. We're getting some much needed stuff done around the farm. As you can see, Velvet is out to pasture. Boss is hunting. And I am doing something uh, very fun and I do need to put on here in the front end. No, Billie Jean is not being hurt. This is for her benefit. Um, and if anybody is getting their butt kicked in this process, it is me. So um, I'm gonna flip you around and let you know what's going on. Say hi, Billie Jean. You're outside in the sunshine. So Billie Jean is coming out here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tie her to the trailer. And so she is learning her first moments of being on a halter. And uh, she's not enjoying it. But we need to get her over here to where I can tie her somewhere that she can't go underneath and hurt herself so I can wash her bum. So that's what I'm doing right now. And she's... It might look like I'm winning, but sh she's winning. Come on. There you go. Pressure, 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 release. Good girl. <laughs> All animals really think alike. And I know I've talked about this before, but pressure and release. Humans are no different. You can't pressure your spouse or your children, pressure, 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 without giving them release. So that's just the idea here. And we're slowly making it, it took a lot to get her away from her pen mate, but now that we're outside, she's more focused on the halter and what's happening on around her head so anyway I'm gonna get her tied up here and start washing we've got her tied not super tight giving her the benefit of the doubt here and uh, don't judge me all I have is horse shampoo but I'm just gonna plump some on there really because she uh She's got a mean kick, so I'm not going to get too close to this bum while I wash. And I'm not going to, I'll spare you the grossness of it and come back when she's all clean. You having fun running a muck out in your pasture? Well, after about 20 minutes or so, lots of water and some good love. Little girl's bum. It's all cleaned up. And, much to my surprise, she actually likes it. Don't you? Yeah. She actually likes it. So, we got her bum all cleaned up. Not No redness or anything anywhere. So, that's good. And now, hopefully, we can start fresh with the cleaner backside so we can tell whether or not her diarrhea is going away. Huh. What do you think? She's looking at that big old horse going, oh, oh. <laughs> she did really well. I'm really proud of you, Billie Jean. I'm really proud of you. It's really good. Yes. All right. Let's get your pull in you and get you back to your housemate. Come on. She says, oh yeah, I'll go back to the barn very easily. <laughs> very easily. Come on. Your friend is this way. I know. Come on. That's a normal cow cough. That's not a bad cough. Come on. Okay. Come on. 
There you go. There you go. Come on in. Come on in. There you go. Whoa. It's just dirt. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Look. It's okay. Look. There's your friend. Come on. Okay. So, haul from yesterday is a whole bunch of lumber. That is a uh, five sheets of uh, roofing metal. Mr. Wonderful got his Christmas present for his miter saw, his stand for his miter saw. Concrete, two bags of which have already been used. Some PEX piping, some electrical stuff. Yay, more paint. If anybody wants to know what the paint on the videos is, it is a Home Depot brand. It's Bear. Um, premium, premium Advanced Deck Over Tex. The color is Sandal. This is the label. Um, I picked up some... I love the uh, discount rack at the paint desk. So I picked up some purple outdoor stain. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Um, and some paint. And then, of course, a whole bunch of brackets and boring boring stuff for most women. Um, but that's the kind of stuff that's behind all of the beautiful stuff that us women love. So I have an appreciation for it. Um, outside project is coming along. And I am fixing to go in and put another coat on the floor in the groom shop. This is my groom shop that uh, just got here two days ago and we are finishing it out so that I can start working again, grooming dogs. So we've turned the back of the stock trailer into a construction zone, which is great. Mr. Wonderful stuff doesn't get wet. He can store it there, it's close. Because of course we are at the very back of the barn and the shop where all of his tools are is at, you know, it's 200 feet at the front of the barn. So, anywho, uh, that's, that's that. Still absolutely melts my heart to uh, see my horse out at pasture and to have my dogs out running around the farm. a sense of freedom that everybody has. Uh, it's kind of a quiet, it's a quiet, calm, relaxed kind of atmosphere. Even when I'm amped up, they're, you know, they're just, they're happy. And that makes me happy. Velvet's been running around, getting all sweaty, enjoying her outside time. Had a lot of stormy weather, and so she's been locked inside, so she's back out again, enjoying her. On a side note, um, check out the raised bed and how much that dirt has already dropped. It's already dropped four inches in some place. So, and we've also noticed some you know, some things that need to be fixed here and there on this bed, reinforced. And like I've told you, you know, we're learning. This is going to grow a ton of food. And I'm excited to see the drop in the soil because that's just the more compost I can put in it in the spring. Well, my floor is still just a little bit damp. So this project is going to have to wait until it dries completely. Oh, he really hates it when I do that. But, got him treated again. 
and it definitely does look less flaky and so he's got a, a spot above his eye and then of course his pole that is a fungus a microbial fungus and I'm just treating it with a rag and basically diluted betadine iodine so these guys are going to get some outside time why I clean their stall because they've made a mess again every day look at that you guys have just licked your bowls completely clean yeah okay excuse me I'm gonna let you guys out now you guys think it's grain time don't you well it's not it's play time Billy Jean, I don't think she likes cows. She says, I don't care about the cat. I'm just checking the buckets. And we didn't even make it out of the pin before we started itching. <laughs> oh, these guys are such a crack up. I tell you, sometimes this life is hard, but... The rewards that you reap every day are just, they're not replaceable. <laughs> okay, back to work. I need my wheelbarrow. I've got some good old uh, farm exercise to do. This little boy just being a boy. What are you doing, Bronco? You looking for Billie Jean? He's back here. He's like, yeah, but I have to get past you in that big scary wheelbarrow. She's calling for you. Oh, he made it, he made it, yay! Of course, naturally, they're going to play in the mud puddle. Velvet's having a ton of fun out here, too. Velvet's friend is standing over there. They've been talking back and forth all day. Oh, 
Okay, distracted by the farm animals again. What are you two doing? Did you guys find some hay you could get into? Oh my goodness, look at her. She is fired up. Lady came to check on me. Do you mind? You can't just, you know, tinkle wherever you want to. No respect. Billy Jean, your brother's getting all of it because you can't figure it out. You went on the wrong side. Hey, go this way. Go this way, love. Go on. Go around. Keep going. Hazy move. There you go. There's your grain. Got their stall done. Their grain. I got Velvet's stall done. I'm working on the sheep stall, but... chances with you, mister. Come on. Come on. In you go. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. All right, see? I told you you had to. You didn't have to go in there with the girls. There. Oh, we're having a grain war over there. Okay, let's see if we can get the old lady in. Come on, Bells! Here she comes. Oh, maybe. Come on, Belle. I'm disguised behind this tree branch. She might not be able to see me. I'll do my. Come on. There we go. That's all it took. Here she comes. Good girl. Whoa, Steed. <laughs> Good girl. Uh-huh. I know, it's right there. But we have to take your halter off first. Hold on. It's not done yet. Okay, there you go. You're welcome. I'm sorry, the camera was all fogged up. I just noticed that. Anyway, okay, all the kids are in. Waters are all done. Well, you guys, yet another beautiful, glorious day in the barn together today. 
and a, another wonderful year with you all. I don't know how you celebrate it. Uh, don't know if you have any New Year's resolutions or if you're the kind of person that just chooses to try to be better every day or what, whatever it is. But if you are celebrating New Year's, Happy New Year's. I am going to celebrate New Year's in my pajamas with my pets because that's the best way to celebrate it, in my opinion. But thanks for coming along with me and Happy New Year's and I will see you in 2023. Yours truly.